Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Alan Wake. Last time we were with Barry and tried to meet up with Rose after she had called us saying she had our manuscript. But, uh, and ended up, she, uh, she drugged our coffee and we were asleep for like basically a day and Alan wakes up saying he's late to meet with the kidnappers and we went, I don't know, out in the middle of the fucking forest for two hours before we met up with them. Um, and basically the darkness swallowed them up, saying they were sorry, they didn't know what was going on, they don't even have our wife, they just wanted the manuscript. And the darkness, for some reason, didn't like that, and killed the guy. And we woke up in uh, Emil Hamilton's uh, Institute uh, as, like, the start of the new, the new chapter, or new episode, I guess. So let's continue on. Well, groggy. Whatever Hartman had bumped in me was making me numb. I felt like this was happening to someone else. Someone I was watching on television. I couldn't think. Couldn't focus. There were only empty sheets of paper here. No manuscript pages. I mean, yeah. That's, that's true. Wow, this is very... Who just opened the door? Oh, hello. Ah. Good evening, Alan. Are we feeling better now? Evening. Feeling calm? Yeah. I see you brought your pet gorilla with you. So sure, <laughs> I'm calm. I get the message. Loud and clear. Quite right. That's the spirit? You're being very brave, Alan. I understand you're confused. I would be more concerned if you weren't suspicious of me. I don't blame you for it. Big of you. Now, why don't you come with me? We'll reacquaint you with my clinic and go over everything you might have forgotten. Little walk and some fresh air? Yes, it will do you good. One thing I forgot to mention, actually, is um, when we woke up, uh, Dr. Harmon was making it seem like our wife's been dead for a while, we've been here for a while, but we've been, like, regressing. Like, we, we kind of went crazy, and we're getting better, but then we regressed again, which is why now he's saying... He's going to reacquaint us with his, um, with his clinic. This corridor is for patients. Most of them aren't here right now. Jack took them out for a fishing trip, except for the ones who are particularly vulnerable, of course. Bro, there's a Night Springs game with an Xbox 360. Sign me up, man. Uh, uh, not, not a terrible view. What does he got here? Is this like the map? I encourage creativity as a part of the recovery process here at Cauldron Lake Lodge. I specialize in treating artists. I bet you do. Splendid, Alan. I honestly believe we can get this thing under control if we work together. Indeed. This way, Alan. Can I, can I go in Desolé's room? As in, je suis Desolé? No? Okay. What's back here? Uh, nothing. What the fuck? What kind of painting is that? The man in the sky. You need help there, bud? Okay. Oh, there's an elevator. I did not expect that. Now, Alan, from past experience with you, I know I need to get right into the heart of the matter as quickly as I can after an episode. So I'm just going to say this. It's like the Alice how the presidents do dead. the senators. No. You're politicians. in a very vulnerable state until you understand and accept this. Alice drowned, and you couldn't face that. You're suffering you just from couldn't. hallucinations, paranoid you like a bite? delusions, unusual thinking, an obsession about light and Bro, darkness, what the fuck? a feeling that everything revolves around you, your thoughts and dreams. Your mind has constructed an elaborate fantasy scenario in which your writings are affecting reality. 
she has okay been... doctor you might you might want to tend to the guy upstairs because he keeps trying to go through the same door and and you know what they say the definition of insanity is right and supernatural forces of darkness are trying to stop you you sure okay we'll, we'll be back later i'll bring you some food in case you get hungry Such a weirdo. Why would you lock you everywhere? Way, Alan? I wasn't ready for another shot, so I went along with it. He had to be lying. But under the influence of the drug he had given me, I had to fight not to believe his words. Bro, do you have carpal tunnel or something? Why are you, you walking around with like up. your hand like that? Apart from the tragic accident with your wife, no one has been killed. Your delusions are just a manifestation of your subconscious mind trying to protect you from the too painful truth. Tell me Unless more. Unless we fight the fantasy, it will return. I know the instinct is to resist me, but think about it. Doesn't this make far more sense than the insane supernatural conspiracy you have concocted in your mind? You're not You're wrong, Doc. You're a skeptic Doc. by nature, Alan. You I know. know this. Everything can be explained logically. I mean, if you say so. I'm skeptical about the logic as well. But... But your your hand though, your hand okay? Would you like a first aid kick, maybe? Sure, okay. This is a nice view. Ah, I never get tired of this view. Very inspiring, isn't it? I'm Only gonna jump. Oh, I can't jump. Us. I could see Mira Peak on the other side of the lake. I thought I could make out the spot where Diver's Isle had been when I arrived with Alice. Now there was nothing but waves. It seems there's a storm coming. Isn't Funny, it always? I don't recall there being a mention of that in the weather forecast. Hmm. Well, no matter. Nothing this supernatural way, about that at all. Me. Why is there a giant sundial things. here? Right now we're in control. Every time you have a relapse, it gets more and more difficult to resurface from the dark depths of your imagination. Wow, we Not got dark. Surprising, considering your profession. Imagination is what you work with. Yeah, dark real quick. I wonder if this uh, sundial is kind of accurate. All your okay, Doc, you talk way too much. To you. If it doesn't, why is that? Because I'm lying? Or because you don't want to admit that you're not well? It's okay. very natural for you. Okay, shh. <laughs> you, you talk too much, Doc. I, I get it. I, I as As a writer, I talk a lot too. But please shut the fuck up. To think of me as your enemy, it's part of the illness. I let After him talk. All, I'm Hartman the one obviously trying to loved bring his you own out voice. of the world. You his words echoed madly inside my head. But I can't. Do I dug it my nails myself. into the palms oh my God. of my to to with me. Once you accept that, even Alan loves the sound of his own voice. Towards your recovery. I let him talk, but in my mind, I had my own narrative going on about what was really happening to me. Just to hear her, as he droned on and on, my thoughts went back to Alice. It's like, okay. <laughs> One voice at a time, please. Can we go in this way? No, nope, that's not even a real door. Alright. Can we go up here? I'll race you, Doc. Come on. No, oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, your hand went back to those positions, eh? You look like you're playing a flute or something. W would you like me to grab you a flute? Or maybe a saxophone? Clarinet? Maybe a clarinet. Come along. Let's go inside. You seem like an oboe kind of guy, Doc. Oh, here's the entrance to the office. Oh, it's him. That's for staff only. You were impressed scary, by my trophies scary, when you first scary. arrived here. I do love to hunt. The great outdoors, man versus nature. It's wonderful stuff. Pretty damn wonderful, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I got you. Got gotcha you good. I'm a real bad dream, mister. You should be afraid of me. Don't want to run into me in the night, that's for sure. Please, Emerson, 
Mr. Wake is confused enough as it is. I really am. Yeah, you'd like me to go away so you won't be scared. But you can't just decide what kind of dream you have or when you have it. Emerson. Okay, okay, sorry, sorry, sorry. Boo. That's Emerson. We're actually making some progress with him, I'm happy to say. He works on video Elbow games. Strike. Ooh, it's yeah. trash, ah, of course, yeah. but yeah. it does involve oh, yeah, some small head. creative effort, which makes him receptive to my therapeutic methods. No kidding. What's your story? Oh my god, there's constant noise everywhere. Just... No wonder people around here are fucking crazy. No no time. Imagine that the power had been acting up. Maybe that was the reason for the generator and the work light on the balcony. The generator hadn't been activated, and there was no key. Is that a barcode, really? Not a barcode, but a QR code. I'm going to see where this takes us. It takes us to alanwake.com. That's very meta of this game. Okay. Constipation. That looks painful. Uh, hilarious. It, it's not worth it, guys. Anyways. Um, I completely forgot what I was fucking saying. Too much noise. Too much white noise. We, we, we can let the, the room breathe a little bit, guys. We can let... And let the game breathe a little. We don't have to have talking every five fucking Come seconds. Alan, this way. I will go here. Mm. Hello. Oh, hello. I've painted you. Okay. Oh. I was just struck by inspiration a couple of days ago. Dr. Hartman wanted me to paint landscapes, and that's what I was doing. But now I've been doing these things, a lot of them. The images just keep coming. Dr. Hartman likes them. He has them in his office. Yeah? He's very proud of me. He says I'm getting much better. I think I'm getting better. Uh-huh. Well, I guess I'd better start wrapping this up. The storm is almost here. Look at that. I'd hate to be out there tonight. Yeah. Hey, it's those guys. The brothers. Oh, is that what that squeaky thing is? <laughs> it's got a hammer. Hilarious. Way to enable him, Doc. You okay? You look drunk and stoned. Good way to be. Okay. Jeez, bro. Nope. Now, you might have noticed the typewriter in your room. Oh my god, he's still You've talking. You've been writing as a part of the therapy. As soon as you feel up to it, you should continue. I'll, I'll let you guys read that. I uh... my rheumatism is killing me. There's a storm coming. Oh, what a storm! I hope it wipes this place off the face of the oh. earth. The Night Springs and board game. These two are the Anderson brothers, Odin and Tor. They had a how should I put this? A heavy metal band in the 70s and 80s called Old Gods of Asgard. They even adopted new first names to complete the image of Viking gods. After the band broke up, they lived on a farm nearby. They are, well, in advanced stages of dementia. 
They are well cared for, TLC and all that. There's nothing more that can be done. I'm afraid that the rock and roll lifestyle has left its mark. Oh, that looked great to me. I'm so sorry to cut this short. For now, Alan, the power has been acting up. I'd better go check on it. We'll continue this soon. Meanwhile, when you feel up to it, return to your room and try to write. It really is for the best. Don't you think? No. Ugh, one hand behind his back. I'd like to bash his head in with a hammer. No, oh, he'd love to fish out our secrets, but he has no clue. He's not crazy enough. <laughs> not crazy like us, Sonny. Yeah! Being ah. crazy is a requirement, Sonny. Who else could understand the world when it's like this? Why is it the takes camera like crazy shaking? To know crazy. That's the sanest thing I've heard in a while. <laughs> Say, you're all right, Tom. Hey, we like him, don't we, bro? He's got to go to the farm. The Anderson Farm. Valhalla! We wrote it all down, lest we to forget. A crash course. All you need to know to get your head right. You need to find the message. Here, Sonny, here's something for you. Gave me a rash, but I kept it safe from these bastards. My head was clearing up, or according to Hartman, I was sinking back into the fantasy. I was convinced he was lying to me about everything. Crazy or not, the Andersons made more sense. Tom, you got any booze on you? Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Sorry, we have I'm not that kind of writer, guys. Special stuff at the farm. Our own formula. Local ingredients. Medicine clears your head right up. Makes you remember, like... Moonbeams on the brain. Ah, oh, I just noticed leather patches on the elbows. That's not very rock and roll. Tom just lost is all. Baba Yaga got to him too, the damn witch. She damn used witch. us all, taken from all of us. Took my thunder, the witch. And my ravens, what was, what were they? <laughs> Memory and thought, the hag. She took something from you, too, didn't she? That's what she does. Um, we're better off. This place, the lake, it gives you power. If you're a creator, an artist, a god. Nightmare shifted in their sleep in the darkness of the lake. <laughs> yeah, that's the one. She makes sure it comes out twisted and wrong. Just ask the lamp lady. She knows what happened to that other rider. She's been using you, boy. And you let her. You went and opened the door for her, didn't you? Now, now, it was already open a crack. And whose fault is that? We're morally corrupt, disease-ridden. Old and stupid. Doesn't mean he had to open it all the way, goddammit. Ah, uh, So tired. Built the farm close to the lake. A place of power. We had parties there, man. You, you should go there and have a party. That Bob Balder threw the amp through the window, hit that a hippie chick in the back of the head, 15 stitches of a concussion. Bob's dead now. Leukemia. Stitches, snitches, and narcs, man. <laughs> Bad scene. I am tired, man. So tired. Then shut the fuck up. How about that? I... I, uh... Okay. I want to go home. Jeez, I'm crow. People just don't shut up. Anyways, Bob Balder. I'm guessing that's a reference to like the actual like Balder. Well, he's the boss. I may need.
need a hand here later on, Birch. The storm's bound to make you-know-who jumpy. You know how they get. Gotcha. The docs got me looking after Wake here, but holler if they get too rowdy. I'll do that, Birch. Hey, Wake, why don't you humor Dr. Hartman and give the writing a shot, huh? The typewriter's in your room. You can get to your room by those stairs, Wake. The doors were locked. Hartman and the nurses would have keys, but there was no way to get my hands on them. Numbers came back from marketing that mullet time is the hook we needed to go big in the target demographic. And they're not even kidding. They say it all like serial killers with straight faces and smiles. My nightmare is the writers who want to make everything from the characters to the toasters talk, talk, talk all the time and express their feelings so they won't shut up. And the writers won't shut up either because they have feelings too. And I have to listen to them because they're not scared of me. And Hartman wanted me to write. Shut up. I knew shut I could, up. but I figured shut I should just play along for but now. I don't see it was the only thing I could do with Nurse I'm Birch watching me like a hawk. I take two pills every morning and one with every meal and four when I go to bed. Okay. And Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck exploring. I'm. I'm done. Oy vey. Something's wrong. Oh, more talking, Chris. I know Chris. myself. It's hard to think that there's a shadow inside my head. I can only focus on writing. Everything else is a blur. I'm trapped in this cabin. Have been for days, but it's always dark outside. My editor is real. I saw her again. She's not human. It's not human. A dark presence is wearing the old woman's face. She was covered in clinging shadows. There's a hole in her chest where her heart should be. I think I've made a horrible mistake. I don't think I'm any closer to saving Alice. It's been lying to me, using me to get the story it wants, and the story will come true. Yeah. What was that? Not the right way? Oh. Well then. Can I go in Desolet's room? I cannot. That's right, I guess. The white glare of the blank page in front of me hurt my eyes. My hands began to shake uncontrollably. Hey, Wake, you stay here. I'm gonna go see what's up. You just keep doing what you're doing. Be cool, okay? Chaos was all about, but it could be my only chance of getting out of here. Oh my god, more talking, more fucking talking. Oh, afraid of the crazy brothers, are ya? Not so weak now, are we? Well, things are unraveling fast, aren't they? Ha ha! Nah! It's my storm! I'm taking it! Sinclair looked bad. That wasn't a love tap. The crazy old fart hit her hard. If she was one of Hartman's goons, she had it your destiny. I could get the key to the office room from Sinclair. I had to get to Hartman's office. He had taken Come all my manuscript pages. Music, That's where he'd been keeping them. The okay, is that here? Hartman's office? Oops. Maybe you could come out. Fuck. The markings on the tape said they were recordings Hartman had made at the sessions with his patients. I saw Alice's name on one of them. For a moment, I couldn't breathe right. Now, Mrs. Wake, can you tell me about Alan's problems? He's more and more out of control all the time. The parties, he's so angry all the time. He's getting violent. He's... Do you mean with you? No. Not with me. No. Never. I... Sometimes I almost wish Alan would take a swing at me. Because at least that'd lead to a conversation he couldn't just march out of. But no. He just... Alan doesn't really sleep. And the work? Well, he's not writing. At all. He sits there for hours and just gets more and more frustrated and I can't talk to him yes 
Tell me, Mrs. Wake, what would you say to him if he'd listen? <sighs> I don't know. I want to say, I look at you, and it's not you. Just some stranger who resembles you. Looking out from behind your eyes, and I don't like that guy much. And now it's all gonna go to hell. But you don't ever say this. No, no. I've tried, but he's not listening. He's too deep in his own problems, always going on about something else. I'm so afraid I'm gonna lose him, and we're not even talking anymore. He doesn't let me in anymore. He just keeps me in the dark. I'm so alone here, even when he's home. Please help me, Doctor, because I'm at my wit's end. Well, if you can just get him here, I'll absolutely do my very best. Yeah, but Doctor, you need to be careful with him. He's not just going to listen to you and cooperate. He's the most stubborn man I've ever met. Well, I'll be sure to bear that in mind. Hearing her voice, what she was saying made me happy and sick and guilty all at once. Worst of all, I recognized the words. The phone call from her. It had been a cut-up of this. Just a recording. Oh, the call that we got before from the kidnappers. Well, potentially from the kidnappers. We're just like hung up. It wasn't from the kidnappers, you know what I mean. Is there a different Rudolph Lane's case is interesting. He was completely blocked, and frankly, I was about to discard him as useless. However, once Wake arrived and started writing, something changed in Rudolph. He's producing extraordinary work, increasingly dark pieces. Unfortunately, he doesn't respond to direction at all, and it's my belief that he's not so much a creator as an illustrator, perhaps, a recorder of sorts. I hadn't considered the existence of such a role before, let alone its implications, but the paintings he has produced are informative. At least he's easily controlled and useful. I wish I could say the same about Wake. It's frustrating that the best subjects are always so damn difficult to deal with. I'm buying that. I was tailing Wheeler, and this is the only place he could have gone. That means Wake is probably there too! Agent Nightingale. This is private property, and I will not allow you to disturb my patients. Yeah? I can get a warrant. How are your fragile little patients like that? <laughs> oh, I'm thoroughly intimidated by your mighty authority now, Agent. Listen, you smug snob. How would you like it if I busted through this gate and knocked you around a little? Agent Nightingale, first of all, I'm recording this conversation, so you might want to watch what you say. Secondly, you're not dealing with a hick now. I know the law, and if you can get a judge to grant a warrant, I'll be glad to cooperate. But you won't get one. Be advised that any further communications with me are to be made through my lawyer. I don't believe this. Good day, Agent. Yeah. Yeah, that's all you have to say? Yeah. Well... Interesting. What the fuck? That is a weird ass photo. The photo on the wall caught my attention. In it, the clinic staff was standing outside the lodge. I knew the man next to Hartman. He was the kidnapper. Hartman had been playing me all along. Yeah, that is a really weird picture to put up. Hartman, do you hear me? I'm gonna sue your crazy quack ass to shred! Is that Barry? Seriously, do you have any idea how much trouble you're in? I am famous. I... Barry? Ow, about time. Barry, man, am I glad to see you. We need to get to Hartman's office. It's right next door. You okay? Yeah, I mean, no. The cops found me at Rose's trailer, but they didn't hassle me too much. I'm obviously a victim in this, and I demanded to be treated as such. Or else, I'd sue their asses. Speaking of asses, that fed gave me a real hard time. But I had no clue where you were. That guy's crazy now. But he let me go, and then I get a call from Hartman, that son of a bitch, who tells me you're here, and I should come pick you up. But when I got here, two goons clobbered me and stuck me in there. What's... what's with the cutout? I stole it from the diner to piss off Rose after what she did to us. That'll teach her. Oh, yeah. Barry. That's a harsh punishment. Come on, pal. We gotta get going. 
Thanks, Barry. These were all the pages I had on me. And more. Alan, please. You're sliding back into the... Tell me one more lie and I'll shoot you in the face. Ah, well, it was worth a shot. Really, Wake, come on. Let's work together on this. You have no idea... Parker, shut up! Barry, get out of here. I'll catch up with you. Get a car. Oh, Al, let's just... Go! Wake, listen to me. This is a mistake. Don't you see? Together we can create something absolutely wonderful with your ability and mine. Yeah, sucks, don't it? <laughs> I'll catch you in the control DLC. I don't have a flashlight. Ah! Stop hurting me! Oh, it's growing! Oh, great. Uh, guessing I'd go turn on the generator? I just keep on doing this. Is it? Locked. You're gonna have to go through the hedge maze over there. No, Lord. Mary, I don't have a light. 
Take this, Al! Oh, God! Look at the house, Al! Look out! Wow. I thought I was picking up something. Come on, Al, we gotta go. It's not much of a maze. I made it through easy. All right. Yes, please. Sorry, I've been talking a lot. Just kind of been. Oh, geez, Al. The house looks bad. Let's get out of here. House looks better than it did before. Like, I mean, 30 seconds ago or whatever. I only have six bullets. That's not good. God, left or right? Let's go right. Trust the meal. Yeah, thanks. After all this. No, I've never actually been in a hedge maze. Anyways, uh, I was saying, I've never actually been in a hedge maze before. Like in real life. I've been plenty of times in video games, but never in real life. Uh, I'm gonna guess that's a dead end. It does make people sad. So no fighting. Let's just all be friends. That sound good? No fighting? You just go along your merry way. And then you'll be nice and clear all day.
Oh, great. Windbirds. That's right, bitches. That was kind of annoying. Uh, yeah, that's what I want. Anything down here? Yes. Oh, jeez, hello. Oh, hello. Oh, hello. I can say there, it's okay. Anything over here then? Uh, nothing. Let's head down this way towards more danger. Now you give me the shotgun. Thanks. Appreciate it. Now, usually it's better to give the shotgun before the boss fight, but... Whatever. It's fine. Did I not get that one? Mott in charge. Malt in charge. Now it's shotgun time. Yeah, that's what I got for walking down the middle. Oh, a flare, thank you. Uh, maybe some bullets. Some bullets would be super nice. Crows. I don't even see him. That's okay. I don't want to see him. Fuck them crows. Oh, that's a nice little lake. Anything this way? Does not look like it. You know, I'm really interested to see how Barry made his way through all this in, like, a minute. Because, like, there's, there's no fucking way. You know what I mean? 
You know what I mean? be the crows or ravens or blackbirds or whatever the fuck they are. There be Barry. Alright, they're gonna jump out again. I know they are. I just fucking know they are. on the sides this time. See, they I I was onto them. Ow! You're alive. Let's get out of here. Can you open this gate? Maybe. Barry. Uh well I slammed it shut when the nasty showed up and the key fits kind of loose in the lock, so uh So you know I was coming through the maze. You knew I was going to be coming out that gate, and yet you didn't do anything to prep for it. <clears throat> How did you expect? Do you want him to just fucking T-1000 right through the fucking gate? You suck, Barry. I'll find it. Don't worry about it. Yeah, I know. I don't need a cutscene for this. I know I'm fucking surrounded. Barry. I'm on it. I'm on it. Oh, yeah. Ah, uh, okay, okay. There we go. They ganged up on me. They got the ambush on me. I'll, I'll give them that. I will give them that. Oh, come on. We don't need to see this cutscene every time. Falls. Come back soon, sign. We're going to the Anderson farm. I knew you were gonna say something like that. You know what? You owe me big time for this. When this is through, if we make it, I don't care what anybody says, I'm done with darkness. You're gonna buy me a tanning bed as a gift, and I'm gonna live in it. Maybe that's inevitable when you deal with crazy stuff like this. It helps. This is happening, Barry. Alice, they never had Alice. She's trapped in the darkness at the bottom of the lake, but she's not dead. Ow! 
How can you know that? I know, Barry. I Valid can. question. I know. Listen, I can bring her back. I can find her. There's something special about this place. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. But there's a catch. The dark presence, whatever that thing is, twists it to its own ends. That's why all of this is happening. It's using my manuscript to take over everything. Al, I believe you. It happened to Thomas Zane before. It happened to the Andersons. I believe you. Crazy or not, you're not delusional. Weird shit's going down. That's a fact. I'm on board, man. I'm with you. The Andersons knew about it, but they were too far gone to tell me with all the drugs they were on. But they wrote it down. There's a message somewhere at their farm, Barry. We just need to find it. Look out! I mean, why would you push him? You're in the car. Al! God damn it, Al! Talk to me! I had lost my gun in the crash. Barry was nowhere to be seen. Barry! I, I lose Barry! I lost everything. Oh, Not just my gun. Man, you're okay! Jeez, it's good to hear your voice! I was trying to get out of the car, but the ground gave way. Man, <laughs> what a drop! Don't worry, your cutout is fine. Forget that! Are you okay? I hit some bushes, didn't get a scratch. There's no way you can climb down though. It's like a sheer wall. I don't know where he is. Looking for like the red jacket. Uh, so I didn't just lose my gun, I lost everything I had. Which, you know, Al, typical. Al, there's something moving down here! Barry, it's a taken! Use a flare, Barry! Al, yeah! Barry, are you alright? <laughs> I'm good, Al! I'm great! Guess he never messed with anyone from New York City before, huh? Is that a house? Can't even tell. Can't zoom in. Okay, back in the woods. Because, why not? You're gonna have to find your way around to the farm, Al. I'll be waiting. This is a farm? Jesus. Barry, just wait for me, okay? Ow! I'm not staying here! It's suicide! I'm going to the farm! I'm gonna go ahead and secure the area! You can catch up! Don't worry about it! I'm on the case! Now he's a Rambo. This would turn into a disaster if I didn't catch up with Barry. That is a really huge farm. I mean, I guess in terms of, like, actual acreage, it's not that much, but... I mean, there's a lot of actual, like, buildings. You know, I feel like this place would be a lot better off without the darkness. The forest especially, oh fuck me. Did you see? Did you love how, how I, even though I dodged, I still got hit? Isn't that great? Oh my god. I don't have a fucking light, dude. Am I actually supposed to go that way? Thank you. 
Can I just, like, sh shine these pages? You know what I need? I need the fucking tail fin from, uh, from Manifest. You just touch it and then just have, have my hand light up. That'll be my light source. Not what I wanted, but that was, that was my fault. Okay, so I guess we could turn this. I could sense the movement and now it burns head. out. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but I had no choice. Great. I have a flashlight, but no weapon. Trust no one in the dark. Yeah, thanks. Oh, fuck. Ah, uh, I wanted, I wanted those things. I wanted those things. Okay, can you? I could sense the movement in the woods ahead. All right, I concede. Facing the enemy without a weapon was dangerous, but that I was had no my choice. Fault. I concede. Go, 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 go. Why don't you stop? I can't run. I'm... I'm fucking... Oh, great. There's more. Oh, man. That sucked. driving away from the farm, headed in the same general direction as I was. For all I knew, it was Barry, caught in the consequences of leaping before looking. Sure. You got a weapon? You know, we kept on finding guns in, like, the most unsuspecting places. Now, I can't find one to save my life. Literally. The car was heading for the cabin up ahead. It wasn't far. If it was Barry, I would see the damage soon. How would you know the cabin's not far a bit? Are you talking about that one? God knows how much longer I gotta go around. You don't know it's not that far. It could take three hours for all you know. I'm trying to deliver each page to the right time and place. I'm trying to show you how the story goes. Okay, thank you. I had seen glimpses of the light before. I had seen it in my dream. It was a strange spaceman or a diver in a bulky suit. He was the one who'd been placing the pages on my path. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? Thankfully, a 
fucking gun. Someone had left a gun behind. Now I had a fighting chance of reaching the farm. The Taken are filled with darkness? I mean, yeah. I mean, what sucks is that I only have the shotgun as opposed to an actual gun, but... Whatever. Can I not get up there? Guess not. Great, more of these. They look like items from Dark Souls, just like littered on the ground. right off. Side of the driver. <sighs> Alright, I'm really sorry I haven't been saying anything for a while, guys. It's. I, I, I get it. You're supposed to be frustrated. You're supposed to be like survival horror. I, I, I get it. It's just. The, the combat sucks. That, that's all that sucks. Like, Hello? uh. Anybody here? The dodging, especially. Ah! Barry! No, Danny, you're not. Please. What are you? What are you? No, don't. I'm sorry. I know you. You were in jail the other day. I went to the farm again for the moonshine, you know? It makes you see. They're, they're not gonna miss it. They're in the loony bin. My buddy, Danny, I lost him. Something's gone wrong with him. It's not him. Like a real bad follow-up to a real good movie. The best friends suddenly the bad guy who, who wrote this crap anyway ah he's just sleeping guys he's all right he's just he's just tuckered out from uh, being attacked oh my god i've run through every possible course in my head if I continue like the Dark Presence wants me to, the story I'm writing won't save Alice. It's a horror story, and it's going to kill her, and me, and everybody in this town. No one will survive. Darkness will consume everything. This is what it's wanted all along. It will be free, unstoppable. It used Alice to get to me, dangled her in front of me to keep me going. It was never going to release her. I'm going to change this. 
I'll escape. I've written myself into the story. I'm now the protagonist. This feels like a terrible risk, but it's the only way to save Alice. I'll be bound by the events of the story just as much as anyone else who's been woven into it. The story must stay true for this to work. There have to be victims along the way, near escapes, cliffhangers. In a horror story, it can't be certain that the hero will succeed or even survive. He almost has to die. I'll write my own escape into the story next. I need help. Zane's going to be the one who will help me. I'll make it happen. Interesting. So, it's interesting that he he's saying I'm writing myself into the story now. So, if he hasn't, then who who's the main who's the protagonist? Oh my god, I'm stuck. Let me guess. Danny, huh? No more. You are Danny no more. Um Yeah, so if Alan just wrote himself in the story, then who's the protagonist? The front door was locked. So I guess Danny was driving that truck, huh? The farm was still a good distance away. I'd need a car to get there fast. Yeah, there's that outhouse. That's the one thing I don't like about these cabins. There's like no actual um, sewage system. No, no real irrigation. Oh, jeez. No real electricity to speak of, either. Okay. So let's get in the car. Drive our way over to the Anderson farm. If Barry wasn't up here, he was probably in trouble down at the farm. For a moment, I felt bad for doubting him. After all, I'd made it this far myself. But Barry was Barry. Have some faith, man. Uh, is this the way, or is that the way? Potentially something here. Yep. I wouldn't mind getting some more items, even if we are going to waste them. I mean, I'll take the flashbangs. Flashbangs are probably the most useful item. Okay, waste of time. I feel like this car might drive better. Well, I might as well check out this area too. Yeah, when we started this episode, just way too much fucking talking, man. Like, again, I don't mind dialogue. I like dialogue. But, gotta give room to breathe, man. Is that a hunting rifle? I think I'll take the hunting rifle over the shotgun. Yeah, we got way more bolts for that anyway. Well, as I'm sure everyone's noticed, that storm we all felt coming is finally here. Boys at the Weather Service reckon it'll last until morning, at the very least. Uh, pertaining to that, let me uh, read that missing persons alert again. The Sheriff's Department's still looking for a Caucasian woman, 30 years old, slim and blonde with blue eyes. She 
You may be lost in the woods and it's, it's possible she's been injured in a car accident. If you see her, please make sure you get her indoors and call the sheriff. It's bad weather to be caught out in. So if you I see it's someone Alice, in the anyway. area who maybe looks a little confused, give him a hand, all right? <clears throat> this is Pat Main on KBF FM. Hoping you're all safe and warm tonight. Godspeed, Pat. You know why, um... Oh, I don't need that. So. Um... I actually studied, like, uh, broadcast journalism. I kind of always wanted to be, like, a radio radio DJ. Especially in, like, the small town areas. But, uh, you know, with the advent of the internet, kind of hard to do that nowadays. Oh my god. What the fuck did I hit? What am I hitting? Yeah, because like nowadays, it's really, I, I'd be, I think it'd be hard pressed. You'd be hard pressed to find a town like this where like they have no irrigation and no, um, no internet really. And I'm not saying that there aren't any. I'm saying you'd be hard pressed to find one. Okay, so I'm gonna have to go on foot. Let's just kill these guys first. Uh, I forgot how to focus your light. Still not dead. There we go. Yeah, so it looks like we're gonna have to go on foot. <laughs> uh, nothing in there. Okay. Yeah, a lot of places have light. we go down there because that area is blocked off. Where am I going? Are those... What is that? Are those fireworks? They are fireworks. So we have to go in that way. Oh, you know what? I remember this part. Okay. 
This part was both cool and really hard at the same time. Yeah, this part was both cool and really hard at the same time. I just really hope I don't get copyright claimed for this. I'd known the brothers used to be some kind of rock stars, but it hadn't really sunk in until I saw the stage. Ow! Run! It's coming! I thought I threw the thing. I'm so glad you decided to go it alone, Mr. Johnson. Shut up and shoot! Ow! We have to fight them all! I can set off more of the fireworks from here and help you out! Hey, Al! Did you notice there's a lot of ammo and stuff around? I can't see shit, guys. Uh, you. Me, bitch. Oh, jeez. Where'd you come from? Well. Okay. Oh. Again, trying to dodge.
Jeez. Just in time. <laughs> that was awesome! Bright Falls, rock and roll capital of America. Yeah, so, as I said, pretty hard, but pretty awesome. Um, and I don't know... This way to the farm! And I don't know which came first, this or Left for Dead. Like who took inspiration from who with the with the rock and roll level, like the stage level. But it's pretty cool. And also Poets of the Fall sang, sang this song. Ugh. See, bestseller, no reason to worry. Your cutout's good as new, right oh where God. I left it. I'll come back for it once we have the place secured. Yeah, that's been my biggest worry all this time. We need to get this thing moved out of the way. This is as far as I got before they ambushed me. Hmm. Yeah, I, I know. You don't need to keep saying focus. Now, how do I get up there? Why? Probably by climbing this ladder here. Yeah, I mean, I could look around, but not going to. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Right now, I'm just standing here because I need my best friend, Barry, to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. That's how you know these guys are best friends. Or at least good friends. Is that it? Oh wow. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay for themselves. So how come I never heard of these guys before? And this from the guy who learned about Ozzy Osbourne through reality TV. So, okay, I just want to reiterate that um I did remember like the the stage uh like the fighting through the music thing. Uh, that's one of the things I remembered about this game. Because, uh, again, it's been like 10 years since I played this game. More than 10 years. I, I don't recall this area at all. <gasps> Ooh, Night Springs? Yes. We all spend uh -oh, a of our Night Springs! Soft Man! Somewhere it's between memories. Hey, you guys remember see? when okay. I got you that gig? Uh, your first real writing job. What got you started? You know what? I'm gonna turn off my camera. In Night Springs. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Eh, that's by someone else. We join Mr. Jones as he explores the endless dreamscape, only to be brought to a sudden stop by a decidedly mundane situation. A long line of people. Hey, Jones, right? Listen, we're gonna have to wait until his highness over there is good and ready. Oh, wow. 
Who's that? You don't know him? What are you, new? He's the guy dreaming us. Well, not just us. He dreams everything. All of this. But wait, no. I'm the one who's dreaming. I'm asleep. Isn't... isn't this my dream? Oh, yeah. Sure. Get real, pal. You're just another dream. I'm a dream. You're a dream. The weirdo in the diving suit is a dream. And the girl made of smiles and sunshine is definitely a dream. But I'm pretty sure I'm dreaming this. Well, maybe you're a really confused dream. What am I, a shrink? All I know is I'm going with the smart guys. And they say that's the guy doing the dreaming. Right there. I don't know what that means. It means we keep him happy. No sudden falls. We make sure he has his clothes on when he goes out in public. No chases where the monster is nipping at his heels and he runs like crazy, but his legs don't seem to get him anywhere. None of that. Because if he wakes up in a cold sweat... Oh... Yeah, precisely. So we wait till he wants to move on. Keep things nice and calm. Hey, something... something's happening here. Yeah? What's that? What? Can't you hear that? Oh, God help us, it's an alarm clock. Oh, it's you, isn't it? Please, man, I got a wife and kids. Please don't wait. <laughs> That's funny, there was no, there was no outro. Um, but yeah, I don't remember any of this stuff. This is really cool, actually. Got like their own uh, Viking um, setups, you know? I think we finally got the best, like, uh, light in the game. This thing goes really far. But of course, sooner or later, we're gonna lose it. Oh, uh, no, sorry. I wanna go this way. Oh, there's him. Thought it was just a shotgun over here. There's shotgun ammo. Okay. boat looked imposing almost like a battering ram hmm I see I see okay so we want to ram the thing forward okay let's just finish looking around first old gods of Asgard the 1975 Ragnarok tour be awed by celestial wrath and fury so they go to Seattle Bakersfield Long Beach New York Newark Detroit, Jacksonville, Tampa, New Orleans, and Baton Rouge. They're going... My uh, my geography of, of the U.S., my apologies, is not really up to stuff, but it looks like they're kind of going in a circle, like around the edges. Kind of, and then going, kind of stopping around the the middle-ish area. Yeah, I don't really know where Louisiana is uh, geographically. Again, my apologies. I'm not. I'm not American. Oh, 
Oh. Well, I just waste a lot of ammo. I mean, you're not wrong. That's one of these. It's one of these assholes. Barry, where you be, Barry? Oh, Barricans. Bartholomew. Oh, hello. gonna throw a car at me, really. Anyway... Oh. Thanks for the help, man. Glad to say you're safe. had quite a production going on. Oh, you know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep, sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. You find us a way out of here, okay? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. You, you do that. So literally nothing here. All right. Heading on up. No. I, re I refuse to be careful. I prefer to be cavalier and reckless. Good thing I wasn't running. Open, okay? No. Uh, I only have the flares left, eh? None of the flashy bangies. Little old flashems. <sighs> I wonder how long that guy's been hiding behind the thing. He's like, hey, when the second he comes up here. Meanwhile, like three hours later, he's like, oh, you'll be here soon. I bet you. tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, how busy are you now? 
Deer Fest is almost here, isn't it? I oh yeah. Bet that keeps you in fest. business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff, which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. Yeah, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I was just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, just, you know, uh, a lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People seem to be more drunk, at least, or they Kids start especially. and younger. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh... Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Not just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from grown men. People who ought to know better, you know? Kids are doing fine this year. Kids are drinking well, responsibly. nice to hear, at least. Boys, I want to thank you for stopping by. I'll let you get back to your patrol. Sure thing, Pat. Yeah, sure thing, Pat. Yeah, kids, at least they're, you know... They may be drinking a lot, but at least, you know, they're they're staying uh they're 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 doing good. They're okay. It's the adults you gotta worry about. People who've been drinking a long time think they know better. I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. I don't know about you guys, but that was really quiet. Okay. You're not gonna come to life, are you? Better not fucking come to life. Got enough shit to deal with. Uh, did I, did I miss something? I mean, maybe I had to go from the outside? No, come on. Almost, almost, almost. Yeah. All right. Is that true? It's a lot, man. outside before I do that come on okay um, why would I not just open it from this side Like, why do I need to go out this way? Oh, the silo key. Okay. Oh my 
god. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? Yeah, it's me. Hang on. You had fun? Hey, let's go, man. Okay, man. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. It looks pretty heavy. Ah! Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. We're almost there. This farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should feel right at home then. Valhalla. That's a cool name on, for a farm, by the way. Let's do this thing. Old gods know the truth. Okay. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. It's a lot of garbage. The old gods. That's, I guess, where they practiced. Um, would the fuse box be downstairs or upstairs? Is there even a downstairs? No. I would have thought this place you know, would this have a cellar for sure. It. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. Oh god, it's done the truth. Yeah. We're in the booby hatch? Yeah. Probably come here every now and then. It's a nice guitar, man. Glows in the dark. The fret, at least. Fuse box is all the way up here, right? <laughs> Of course, we need to find where it's coming from. That's the message the Andersons talked about. That's the whole reason we're here. Lady of the Light? Oh, that's gotta be, what's her face, the crazy lamp lady from the town. Cynthia Weaver. Right, must be. Also Poets of the Fall. Okay. We need to find Cynthia Weaver. We'll stay here for the night and head back to town as soon as it gets light. Hey, Al. Lots of hours before dawn. Might as well get some rest. And by rest, I mean drunk. Come on, Barry. This is... Yeah. What the hell? This is the best time to fucking drink, man. I'm gonna stick by you, no matter what, ever, Al. Sure, like a brother. I'm a writer, goddammit. Correct. If I just wanted to, I could write ten books a year. And and they'd be the best books that year. No, you couldn't. That's right, I couldn't. But I could, because I'm a writer. What? What do they put in this stuff? I feel like my brain is coming out of my nose. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the recipe off of those coots and be a, a, a booze millionaire. I just miss her, Barry. I just want her here with me. I know, Al. I know. It's gonna be okay. We're gonna make it okay. Being that kind of drunk with someone else is, is just the best.
Oh, he sleeps with his eyes open, eh? That was a weird cut. I'm a ghost! Damn it. Damn it, it fucking works. Shit. Get to the cabin. I'm coming! It's all right! I'm coming! It was a crazy drunken dream, and yet it was more than that. Oh. It was the truth. A suppressed memory unearthed by the Andersons' moonshine. I was there, an out-of-body observer. This was the night Alice and I had arrived at Bright Falls, the night Alice had disappeared. I had a chance to find out what had happened. I remembered being surprised to see the cabin dark. Alice would have never turned the lights off. Bird like cabin. Was it called bird like cabin? I don't remember that. Alice? Alice! I remembered thinking I caught a glimpse of her form underwater, sinking into the darkness. Diving after her was the last vague memory I had of that night. After that, the next thing I could remember was waking up behind the wheel of the crash car and finding the first pages of the manuscript. I couldn't find her in all that blackness. I must have thought she drowned. Alice! Jagger had Alice. Alice! And so she had me. Alice! <coughs> I'd been easy prey. Look at the cabin. Is there someone in the window? Alice? Maybe she didn't drown after all. Maybe she's inside. Alice! Yes. Can't even see Alice. Was she in the window? I didn't see her. The dark presence had touched me. She had dug her nails into my brain and used me, made me her puppet. She must be here somewhere. Maybe upstairs in the study. Alice! Yes, that's where she is. You can apologize. Alice! You'll laugh at the whole thing together and put it behind you. Alice! She's not here. You were foolish to think so. No, she's dead. She drowned. No, no, no! It's your fault your wife is dead. You are guilty. All she wanted was to help you write. You killed her. Ah! Oh, hush. There's still hope. Cauldron Lake is a special place. Here, you have the power to change things. So I gotta see if there's a camera here or something. She wanted you to write. I will tell you what to do. Wasn't this the bedroom and that was the study? Or am I getting it mixed up? You can write her back. The story will come true, and all will be well again. She had Alice, and the manuscript was the ransom for her. Yes. I'll write. I'll fix it. I'll bring her back. No. I wrote it. I remembered it all now. In the dark, I'd written for days, a week, almost a complete manuscript of a novel entitled Departure. 
Jagger had been my editor, whispering in my ear, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. I thought I was saving Alice. Even with the cobweb she put in my head, some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story, to bring a light into the cabin to release me before I could finish, to interrupt the horror story before the ending, where darkness consumed everything and everyone. Zane was weak and far away, but I had written him into the story and his light had been enough to set me free. It is here now. I'm here because it was written. I brought the light to set you free. You must hurry. You will know I'm here. It will be back soon. It stole the skin of my barber a long time ago. She looks so old. I had woken up, confused and groggy, my mind consumed by darkness and fear. All I could do was to escape. The week spent in the cabin had taken its toll. I was barely conscious and fading fast. Had to have cost Zane terribly, thrown him even deeper into whatever dark place he now haunted. But he had managed to weaken the dark presence, kept me safe that night. I wrote it. It's my fault. That's right, James Joyce. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Fuck. There's an old road with mystery of Tom the Poet and his muse. This is a song that we were hearing about the in the cabin earlier. Or in Valhalla, rather. Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The Lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. The clicker. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Walkery. Ladies and gentlemen, some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, though. Uh, let's try to hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Mm. Always in the light. Hello. 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 All the manuscript pages were gone. Okay, we'll stop there. So, um, <laughs> we basically were just told exactly what is happening in like the last, what has it been, like 10 minutes. Um, so the darkness basically took Alice as uh, uh, a way to, you know, break our guard uh, and kind of have us write a story where, you know, Alan thinks that he's like a writing story to like save her, but he's actually making like your darkness more and more powerful. Powerful. How he knows of Thomas Zane and writes him in the story, that I'm not entirely sure of. Um, I'm guessing maybe it's kind of like a, 
he was influenced just like how the darkness was like influencing like jagger was influencing him maybe there was like a the light like thomas Zane was kind of influencing him that way like very subtly like to write write to, write himself in the story like write thomas Zane in the story um that's the only thing i can really think of but uh it's well it, it's really unclear at this point but that's that's my estimation um but yeah i i guess it's as clear cut as as they could put it. it is exactly what's going on um which i'm glad but yeah things are starting to ramp up uh just in time for deer fest too wonder what deer fest has to do with all this right so the question remains is alice alive or not yeah we got to keep playing to find out uh this was a again i like this i like the story um like what uh the chain of events this past uh in the last episode like in this episode but again way too much talking in the beginning with the with the meal hartman and like everyone else in the institute it's like too much going on even ellen allen narrating in his own head while other people are talking it's just it's it's just too much i don't know that that they certainly could have worked on but once we actually got back in the woods um i didn't feel the fatigue this time i'm not like i did the last episode where i felt like it was too much padding i mean sure it, could, it, it still could have been shortened a little bit but um, I was actually feeling okay. It, I think if I feel like it was just the right amount of length any more and I would have been like too much. But again, yeah, hope you guys are uh, enjoying the story so far. I hope you guys are enjoying the the let's play. Um, and yeah, that'll conclude it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care.